marketing the Longevity brand of nutritional and personal care products. Our experience with Longevity has been 100% positive, so we are pleased to recommend them to you. Regarding nutritional supplements, we recommend Pollen Burst in the berry flavor and Tangy Tangerine 2.0 in the tablet form. For regularity issues, we recommend 3-Day Cleanse, and for personal care, we recommend Morning Hydration Cream. You can shop online for Longevity at www.kcaateam.com, or you can order by phone by calling 800-982-3197 and tell customer support that you are part of the KCAA team. Longevity is an American company based in San Diego. Call Longevity at 800-982-3197 and ask about monthly auto ship that allows you to buy Longevity products at wholesale prices. That number again, 800-982-3197. Right in the middle of Redlands is a special place called the Tennessee Gardens, where great memories and romance abound. Under fragrant magnolia trees, recite seasonal flowers, and next to its whimsical ponds, brides and grooms begin their lives together and events are celebrated. With over 25 years experience, its award-winning professional staff, led by executive chef Michelle, owner of Michelle's Bakery, create mouth-watering cakes and events. Celebrate your special event with people who care at the spectacular Tennessee Gardens, conveniently located right in the middle of Redlands. Make a no-obligation appointment to find out more about Tennessee Gardens. Call 909-793-5311. That's 909-793-5311. Or visit mybrideandgroom.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Bob Marshall, Ph.D., host of Healthline. Our pollen de fleur is on special. Key help if you're waking up at night to urinate. Natural support for the bladder, prostate, urinary, immune, and menopausal health. Buy two bottles, get the third one free. Call 800-370-3447. And you can visit us online at qnlabs.com. KCAA Loma Linda, your CNBC news station for the Inland Empire. Hello and welcome to Let's Go Shopping with Bev. This show brought to you by Starflight Entertainment. Music by Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band. Song title, Living in Paradise. Now here's Bev. Well, happy Thursday to everybody, and welcome to another fantastic and fun show. And this show is really packed, so if you're driving the car and you want to take notes, again, i got to remind you, please get off the road and take your notes. Don't try to write and drive at the same time. You could have an owie or a plunky or yeah, something, right? Absolutely. Yes. And I'd like to introduce our first guest, Ghost, and he is the owner of the Red Rooster in Redlands. And anybody that loves antiques, Summertime, arts and crafts, paintings, you name it, this is the man you got to want to see. How you guys doing? I'm Ghost Kaysen. I own the Red Rooster with my partner Linda uh, Davison. We have a real beautiful shop. We just moved to Redlands about two weeks ago. We had our grand opening. And uh, our, our, we love being in Redlands. We moved from Yakaipa. Uh, just to expand our territory and, and really just teach the people um, how to do more on the arts and crafts of uh, Annie Sloan paint. Our business model is we want to teach the men and women both how to uh, repurpose and, you know, if they have an armoire or a frame or any kind of any kind of piece, uh, we want to show them how to do their own, with their, with their own style, tons of colors, and uh, no, it's no uh, sanding, no... No prep, just paint and go. It's the Annie Sloan paint. We, we're stockists there, and we really love, um, you know, the antiques and, and and teaching. So we have workshops over there on Saturdays. You do. And, Ghost, would you tell everybody, how, when did you get started and why? You know, um, actually, I got started, um, the passion that I have for a vintage uh, stems a long time ago, but Linda was doing it before I. And oh really? Yeah, she. I didn't she, know that. Yeah, Linda was doing it uh, for about ten years, and then I, 
actually probably longer than 10 years and, and I got the bug for doing it and and just the uh, the arts and crafts have, have been amazing to see a, a old piece transform it used to be kind of taboo to change a, a piece that looks uh -huh. you know the women would go oh you can't do that this is a great <laughs> piece and now since things have evolved and people get tired of their old pieces and it gives it a whole new life when they when they use the chalk paint it's called Annie Sloan chalk paint and it's so simple to apply and now i have all these women coming in re re repurposing all their older pieces and the same women that told me years ago i would never change my piece <laughs> come in now and they're buying the paint making it shabby chic mm -hmm. get, giving it a whole nother look and i and i encourage them to bring me pictures i want to see what you've done and now the big trend is they're all doing their kitchen cabinetry yeah i wanted to bring that up because when i was into this shop i i was flabbergasted I, I, I just went, whoa, and especially with the antiques into the back, we'll get into that in a minute. Okay. I mean, that's when I really lost it. If I had a U-Haul, you know, I think your store would have been <laughs> emptied. <laughs> I really do. Appreciate and it. You're welcome. But what you do with, with redoing everything, and now people are realizing the furniture way back when was built so strongly. The best. And the best wood, the best of Absolutely. everything. And you see the stuff, the stuff is nice, but it doesn't have that character right. to it. And I've seen some of the pieces that you redone. And I I'm, was thinking when I was out that whole day, it was m me day. So I was going Got to have around, a you day. Right. And I was thinking, you know, I could use that in my kitchen. I could do this. I could do yeah. that. You know, but I'm never home long enough to, you know, do anything. Right. right. And, but I love it. And then I love when you did... When you walk into the front door, and that one wall, and how you painted it with the flowers. Right, right, right. Oh, talk about that for a minute. That so, was absolutely gorgeous. So it's funny because um, my wife and her sister came in the shop, and once again, we opened two weeks ago the Red Rooster. It's it's uh, the Red Rooster Vintage, uh, and the wall was just a plain white wall. I and, mean, yeah. And, and and I'm just looking at it, going, we just need some color. So we weren't thinking mural. And the two girls went in and just started creating. The idea was use all the paint colors to show the, the customers all the colors. So they That's painted, a brilliant idea. So they painted flowers from, from all different kinds of flowers and were able to use all the paint colors. So when you walk in, if there's not a color that you like, you'll see a color that you like. <laughs> it, it's it's you know and uh, what happened? I'm glad you did that because it really helps people when you go to a paint shop and to, to find the paint. And there's one store that I love is Lowell's. When right. I need something, that's where I end up going. Right. I just love them guys. And it, they give you these little swabs right. on a piece of paper. Well, with the different lighting in, this, in the different shops, it's kind of hard to actually see what it is. Mm -hmm. And you bring it home and you hook it up on a wall in different lighting and you're going, what color is it? But the way you did it, you can actually see the actual color, what it's going to be, because with all the lights, all the windows that you have and the different lightings coming through fr from the ceiling and from the sun, it's, I mean, it's brilliant. And I love that grayish blue Yeah, color. Paris gray. It's called yes. Paris gray. So Annie Sloan, the artist that designed the paint, she named all the paint after the old masters. And mm -hmm. her colors are just amazing. I mean, like the black is really a graphite but you turn it black by dark waxing it and you, you turn it into a black mm -hmm. apply more wax to it but her colors she has from vibrant colors old english old orchard she has paris grays i mean and napoleonic blues oh, yeah. you know, beautiful blues and um and of course the shabby chic all the women love the pure white the pure white has been it's 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 probably i can't even keep that on the shelves just I can see why. Well, the thing is, they're doing their kitchen cabinetry, and instead of spending all this money, they just buy a couple cans, and they're done. And, and they redo it. And, and they redo it, and it goes a long way. Yeah. And the thing about when you're doing the kitchen cabinets, or any cabinet, right, like your bathroom, whatever, right. do the inside first. If Whatever you're going to do, if you're going to put shelves in there, or you're going to repaint, whatever, do the inside first, because it makes it so much easier, right. you, you know, than doing, and then do the outside. And what I love, um, and if I ever get a moment to do this, and the other color I like is that kind of antique white. Old white. The old, old, old white. white. Old white. I just love that color. It's not too bright like the pure white mm -hmm. and it's it's still in the shabby chic family it's the old white is just it's a classy color 
It really it, it, is. It's a nice, nice, it has a little warmth to it. It's not mm -hmm. the, the stark white, and uh, but absolutely, I like that color as well. I'm glad. And yeah. then when, when you turn on your kitchen lights, it do, you, you're not getting blind exactly. by this white, white. Exactly. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is just have fun with that. Huh. You, whatever piece, what's the worst thing that could happen? Nothing. All you have to do, if you make a mistake, just paint right over it. There you go. There's no prep, no sanding. You just paint right over it and just keep going. Yeah, and then it's more fun. And then after that, and when you pick out the color, mm -hmm. this is what I started doing, is when you want the new knobs. Right. Get them the same time you buy the paint. And kind of see if you like the two colors together. And then do your prep work, like the inside of the cabinetry, and then... Paint it and put on your, your new um, holders or polders, whatever people call them, right? right. And, and you're all done. Yeah, and we'll do fun things where we'll sometimes leave the table, the top raw, and just do the legs. Just paint mm -hmm. the legs, leave the top true to its wood, and it comes out beautiful. Yeah, and, put, and you put a good polish on the top of the wood. Just some wax. Yeah. It's called, it's called clear wax, and you just clear wax the top, and, and you're good to go. And what else is nice, it's waterproof. You know, you, and especially if you, you have children or a little one and you don't have to worry about when something gets spilt, you don't have to have a nervous breakdown. Right. The wood is already protected. That's right. It's protected with the clear wax. And the, the beautiful part is the, uh, the paint goes on so easy. I, I, I've had the most uncreative people come take a workshop class and leave so confident and we give them swatches and they practice five to six different techniques. Mm -hmm. They have a two hour class that they're learning on. And they leave and they come back and show me pictures of their pieces. And I'm like, wow. You know what you should do? Just as a thought. Don't tell anybody. Let this be a surprise. Okay? When you get the photographs of everything that they did, you should find one wall and just put up the photographs for the person's name on it. I'm actually doing more than that. I'm posting on IG. There, any pics that they send me, I'm just putting it on the Red Rooster Vintage IG on the Instagram. Uh -huh. and, I'll, and I'll tag them. And I'll tell there them, you, go. you know, um, uh, Melinda did this piece. Her table came out amazing. Uh, Kristen did her kitchen cabinetry. It's her mm -hmm. first time painting, you know. And, and, I, and I'll just tag them and add them to our Instagram. And we love to see people's work. It's so exciting. And now since we talked about the painting, mm -hmm. that, that was the exciting part. Well, the whole store is. And then when you leave your entranceway and you're walking into the back of the shop, Right. Right. And the building goes this way, not this way, this way. So you right. have long ways. a long way. So you yeah. really have a lot of room. The way you have everything situated, it makes sense. And it's like their own little uh, area. Yep. You, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And there and all the knicky knacks and the dishes. Kitchen cabinet, the, kitchen area. Was, everything, right? You even had the old rolling pins in yeah. there, and I got giggling. I remember my yeah. grandmama used to have one of those. Chase you yeah. around with it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And then you go through all of that, and then you go into the other part. Right. That's where I really, really got excited. You had the old-fashioned typewriters. Right. And you have the old pod for the cameras. Yes. to sit on. And remember, I got so excited finally finding that. And I said, I I'm going to test my cameras and see if it will fit into this. Mm -hmm. You know, and now I got to get down there and get it, yeah, you, yeah. you know, for, for the table when we do, you know, other interviews, which is terrific. And you got the globes, you got the rugs, you got the pillows. And the lighting. Got, the and lighting. the lightings. Oh, yeah, the lightings. We do the, the steampunk lightings. lighting. We, we love to, anything that we can think of, We'll, we'll take an old camera from the 20s and turn it into a lamp. Yes. We love to modify the strangest things into uh, old cylinders. We drill into the cylinders and, and we make, um, out of metals, we'll make a lamp. And it's, they call it steampunk. And, and these, these, mm -hmm. they're, it's really popular in New York, actually. It is. You know, yeah. they, they love them. It's industrial. And, uh, and we, we've modified the old blow dry, the hair dryers from the 50s. <laughs> yeah, we, we took that and turned it into a lamp. <laughs> but the old, dress, the, the old, the old hairdressers would, uh, we, ha we have um, the hairdressers come in now, and they're like, wow, that's from the 50s. Mm -hmm. and so whatever you can think of, we'll modify. And, and they're all one-off pieces. You, you won't see another one like that. And that's what makes it so unique and so much fun. Right. Yeah, and if it's a whole new idea of looking at things. And don't stay in that, that little box. 
and nothing is a matchy matchy, which I love. I hate matchy matchy. It drives it drives me nuts. I'm the same way. Yes, you know, you feel like you're in a, a library or something. You know what yeah. I mean? Even your table and chairs. If you have a table, all your chairs don't have to match. Yes. You know, you can have different chairs. It actually gives it character. It's fun. It is. It's really, really a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And with everything that you have in that shop, I see you there for a long, long time. Well, that's what we're hoping. And, and we're actually excited to be there. Um, we think Redlands is charming. Um, it's our first time being there. And, um, and, yeah, we'd love for people to come out and see us. You know, we'd... Uh, Give them a tour. We'll give them some paint sticks. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna put the paint on popsicle sticks. I love it. So we're just gonna give them. Here's a popsicle stick. If you tell me what color you like, we'll just paint it on, and and you'll get to see how it looks. Because you could also mm -hmm. add dark wax if you want to modify the color and give it a little uh, the antique look. It's called the dark wax, and um, it's great on details. So if you have a piece that has a lot of details, just dark wax the details, and it'll pop. It'll boom. Just pop, and and it'll just give it that character and we also will show in our workshops how to give it the antique we'll sandpaper the sides mm -hmm. uh, of the pieces i and, like that one too yeah and just it, and just really just it's, it's no real wrong way to do it you just hit it with the sandpaper edge it up and uh when you see our pieces it'll give you tons of ideas of you know how far you want to take it you, you can keep it light you can uh, keep it as simple as possible mm -hmm. uh, we like the two-tone we'll sometimes on a dresser we'll leave the dressers raw and we'll just paint around the dresser so the mm -hmm. you'll just see the wood and then you'll see the body of the dresser painted you know and that's why it should be and if you just tuned in you're listening to let's go shopping with bev right here on kcaa 10:50 a.m the station that leaves no listener behind and we are talking to the one and only ghost ghost casey and Okay, Ghost Casey, yeah. and he is the owner of the Red Rooster in Redlands, and you've been hearing us talking about it. Now, everybody is in the sound of my voice. That's a loud voice. We're through the whole country in 100, uh, a whole, the whole United States in 190 countries. I love the New York yeah, accent. Thank you. <laughs> and so if you want to start redoing your home or your apartment or your trailer, whatever you live in, go down and see him and his team they will help you out and think outside the box and start having fun yeah, come to the red rooster off 100 stewart avenue right there in redlands would love to help you it's it's uh, easy to find it's it's 100 stewart avenue and um you'll see the big rooster in the front you can't mm -hmm. miss it our theme is roosters everywhere and um you know and i love roosters and i have them in my kitchen oh they're fun i, I love roosters yeah, you, they are you, so cool but bev thank you for having me and one more thing sure okay i know you're on a tight time schedule so thank you oh, so I'm much fine. for popping in when you did what is the one big thing you want everybody to know well i want everybody to know basically they can be creative and we're, we're there to help them be creative and show them how to it, it, it's simple. It's 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 not hard. And f feel free to take one of your pieces from home and just, you know, give it a new life. I mean, I'm sure you have a great table. I'm sure you have a great armoire, a buffet, and you don't want to get rid of it or or someone's left it to you. Give it a new life. There you, know, you go. Give it a new life. I mean, it, there's a lot of sentimental pieces that you don't want to get rid of that you've had for years and years. Just just I, I, you would fall back in love with it once you repurpose it. And then a lot of people that like to go yard sailing. Or selling, oh, yeah. you know, and all of that. And you find these old pieces, and all they need is a little touch-up in a happy home. Absolutely. There's a little girl that comes into our shop that's about 12 years old. She buys the paint, and her little, I call it her little hustle, she buys these pieces <laughs> from a yard sale, paints the pieces, and puts them on buy, sell, trade. And, and that's her way of uh, her little business at 12 years old. Hey, she's you know. going to be a billionaire one yeah, of these I, days. I, I love um, the ambition. <laughs> there you go. Well, Ghost, I know you have to go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And tomorrow, all of this information will be posted on Facebook and Twitter and all that good stuff. And as soon as I have another me day, I'm coming down to you. Come on down to the Red Rooster. would love to have you. One more time, address. 100 Stewart Avenue in Redlands, California. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, honey. Take care. And... Uh, right now, we're going to go to a short break, and then we'll be right back. San Bernardino, Loma Linda, Rialto listens to KCAA Radio. Hi, this is Cliff from Cliff's Pest Control. Have you had problems with pests lately? Cliff's Pest Control has been in business 
for over 40 years and is family owned and operated. We can take care of your general pest problems, that's the ants, spiders, all the crawling bugs, and we also can take care of your termite problems. You can reach us at 909-887-1862, that's 909-887-1862, that's Close Pest Control Inc., serving the Inland Empire for over 40 years. Hi, my name is Don, and I work with my wife, Marie. We are holistic health practitioners specializing in magnetic therapy. Got pain, get relief. We are the got pain people. The benefits of magnetic therapy are speed up healing time, reduce discomfort and pain, reduce inflammation, detoxify your body, help improve blood flow. Got pain, get relief. We are the got pain people. With MD Jarbog Magnetics, we can be reached at 951-743-6903. We help to relieve pain without the dangerous side effects of drugs. Some of the other benefits of biomagnetism are a safe alternative for the treatment of over 500 ailments, including cancers, chronic back pain, migraines, asthma, cysts, tumors, acne, arthritis, knee pain, sports injuries, broken bones, high blood pressure, diabetes, fibromyalgia, sciatica, multiple sclerosis, stroke recovery. It also helps reconnect the brain to the nerves. We are located in Ukaipa, and we are the Got Pain People. With MD Jar Bog Magnetics, Got Pain, Get Relief. 951-743-6903. Once again, 951-743-6903. Hello, Inland Empire. We are Fabia and Nacho, the owners of Frank and Kids Garage. Do you have an import vehicle and don't know where to have it service? Frank and Kids Garage Import Automotive Repair Specialist will fix your Japanese, German, or American car. We've been in San Bernardino since 1969, specializing in import autos, but certified to work on molds, makes, and models. We're located at 480 South Arrowhead in San Bernardino. Follow us on social media at Frank and Kids 2 on the web at frankenkits.com. For free estimates, call us at 909-888-0410. Se habla español. If you own or work at a restaurant, bar, or nightclub, here's an important message to help improve your bottom line. At Starflight Entertainment, we rent professional karaoke DJ systems. The monthly cost is affordable, and Starflight systems are easy to operate. For more information, call me, Rich, or Bev at Starflight Entertainment, 909-797-7291. Starflight karaoke systems have great sound, and Starflight provides a large selection of songs, everything from the 40s to today's latest hits. We at Starflight Entertainment will supply a professional karaoke karaoke jockey or we'll train someone for you the starflight system can also be used almost like a jukebox during your slower times starflight entertainment has been in business since 1989 and many bars restaurants and clubs have been customers for up to 10 years starflight covers san bernardino riverside orange and los angeles counties and we can help improve your business so remember the name starflight entertainment and remember 909-797-7291 starflight entertainment Thank you, Inland Empire, for listening to KCAA Radio. And we're back, everybody. And before our next guest uh, is going to be calling in, and that is James, and he is the director of The Wizard of Oz that is going to be here at the California Theater Performing Arts on June 10th, which is this Saturday. And when you hear James and I talking, that's when the phone lines are going to be open. We have some free tickets to give away, and the phone number is going to be 888-5222. And that's when you hear I'm talking to James. And before we go to James, there's one big announcement that I and Richard would like to make. Our very, very dearest friend, Trevor, and he owns Trevor's Rustic Inn, and it's on Kendall Avenue in San Bernardino. Well, this weekend, it is his 15th anniversary. Yes, he's been in that pub for 15 years. One of the coolest places you want to go, you want to get a good steak, a good hamburger, uh, you want to sing some songs, you want to play pool, you want to watch football games, whatever. Trevor's is the place to go. And Trevor, if you can hear my voice somewhere in this universe, I want to thank you. Well, Rich wants to thank you too for all of the 15 years, all the funds, the giggles, all the good times that we had in there. And again, happy anniversary to you, and we'll see you this weekend. All right, now, Brandon, I see the light of flashing. Whom do we have? Brandon? We are high. Hi, 
James. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Good. Welcome to the show. And here's your song, my darling. Oh, I love it. I love that song. I do, too. And now I was just uh, telling our audience here, when we started talking to you, now everybody, the phone lines are open. If you would like to win a, f a set of tickets to see The Wizard of Oz this weekend, the 10th at 8 p.m., now's the time to call in. And the phone number is 888 Two, two. So, James, again, welcome to the show. And would you tell us, please, how did you get started being a director? Well, I actually started as an actor, and I started uh, when I was about four years old, and I've done show after show after show as a performer. And then I uh, did film and television, and I was with the Morgan Agency for a number of years. And then um, a friend of mine said, hey, would you uh, be interested in directing? Ironically, the first show I ever directed almost 20 years ago was The Wizard of Oz. No. Isn't that insane? And so uh, I, after I started directing, I realized that I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was uh, in college at the time. And so I moved over to uh, focusing on directing. And I've kind of made a career out of it. Now I teach uh, high school theater and direct at the same time. So uh, it all... It all worked out, and I, uh, I, I love what I do. Love what I do. Well, see, that's more than half of it. If you love what you do, that's when everything works and everybody gets happy. Exactly. Yeah, and I'll t and oh, in talking about the this whole thing, when we were talking on the phone this morning, and there is someone that is having a special birthday this weekend. Do you oh, want to mention so that person? Yes, absolutely. This weekend on June 10th is Judy Garland's 95th birthday. She would have been 95 years old this weekend. And so when we chose the, the day to perform The Wizard of Oz, we really didn't uh, realize that. And then it was in the rehearsal process, and we were doing our research on the show. And I've always been such a huge Judy Garland fan. It just clicked. The light bulb clicked, and we went, oh, my goodness, we're doing this on her birthday. Mm -hmm. And so we just thought that was so exciting. And um, it's one of the things that, you know, when I wrote up my director's notes, I, I made a big deal out of it because she was just such an awesome talent, and it's mm -hmm. such a thrill that we get to honor her in this way. That, you know, what better gift could anybody get? Exactly. You know, exactly. And, yeah, I just had this crazy idea, but don't tell anybody I mentioned it to you, uh, you know, if it can't be done, but it's an idea, right? Wouldn't it be kind of cool to have a, a birthday cake for her? I, we, we had thought the same thing, that that would be really fun to uh, do some sort of little celebration for her. So we, we might have something up our sleeves. Very, see, great brains work together, huh? Exactly. Uh, don't you love when a plan comes together? I know I do. Oh, it makes life so easy, doesn't it? It does. And talking about The Wizard of Oz, which you are d directing, would you like to take everybody by the hand and kind of walk them through the whole story, if they forgot bits and pieces of it? Yes. You know, I have been uh, obsessed with The Wizard of Oz. I would say obsessed. I have, I have a tattoo of Judy Garland on my arm as Dorothy. Uh, I have been obsessed with The Wizard of Oz since 1989 when it celebrated its 50th anniversary. And um, since then, you know, I've done so much research, and I've read all the books that there are to read about it, and I've gone to Wizard of Oz conventions. So when I had the opportunity to direct this show, I was like, okay, I'm jumping at that. But it's such a wonderful story of a person's journey to figuring out who they are and mm -hmm. figuring out what, um, what their heart's desire is. And, you know, we follow Dorothy on this on this journey, this incredible journey that she goes on, and she meets these incredible friends. So she starts in Kansas, and um, she's dissatisfied with her life, and, you know, she dreams of something better, and the tornado whisks her away, and she goes to Oz, and she meets all of these fantastic um, individuals. She meets a scarecrow who is uh, wanting a brain, and she meets a tin man who wants a heart and a lion who wants courage. And um, they all join her on this epic journey to the Emerald City to see the Wizard of Oz so that she can get home and they can get there, um, the things that they desire. And along the journey, they realize that everything they've ever wanted, they already have. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's really reaffirming, 
it, reassuring and it really um, affirms the idea that we, as human beings, have so much more than, than what we realize sometimes. And sometimes the things that we desire are right there in our own backyard. And, um, you know, along the way, there's a wicked witch that's trying to get her and, you know, the iconic ruby slippers and, you know, everything that, that people remember from the, the classic 1939 film is in the story, plus some uh, nice surprises because there are a few things that uh, were in the L. Frank Baum original book that we revisit in our stage version, which is really kind of fun. Now, uh, James, hang on for one moment. Uh, Brandon, I just seen the light flashing. Yeah, we have uh, Luce on the line. Luce, okay. Hi, Luce, how are you? Hello? Hi. Oh, there you are. Uh, how you doing? Welcome to the program. I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And I take it you called in for a set of tickets to see The Wizard of Oz, right? Correct. Well, good. And James, the director, is on uh, line with us. If you'd like to say hello to him, you're more than welcome to. Oh. Hello. Hello. Congratulations on your ticket. Thank you. Yes, and all you have to do, my dear, is your tickets are here at the studio, and we're in the Carousel Mall, five, 245 Carousel Mall in San Bernardino, and the theater is right across the street from us. So it's, it's a perfect match. And when you come in... Okay. Uh, you give Brandon, our board up, your name and your address, and then you can receive the tickets. Okay. Okay? And I hope you okay. enjoy it. And uh, now for the rest of the day, sing Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, and enjoy. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Well, hey, James, that was pretty cool, huh? Yeah, how exciting is that? Yes. I love the idea of sharing the story with, with people. I, I love the idea that there might be people in the audience this weekend that have never seen The Wizard of Oz, and especially the youth, how exciting it is that we're going to introduce them to this story. It is, and it's such a beautiful story. And one of my favorite characters, believe it or not, was the Tin Man. Oh, I love the Tin Man. Yeah, he, he just cracked me up. And him and then the Scarecrow about yep. the brain. And so, uh, sometimes you know, we get so busy at work and, and we kind of forget something. And believe it or not, I've been doing this for years. And I start singing that song, If I Only Had a Brain. You know? <laughs> oh, that's my life. Yes, I completely agree. Yeah, and that was fun. Now, how many people exactly are in the cast this year? We have a cast of 50. Whoa. We have, and we have everything. I'm, I, I don't know what our upper age is, but from adults all the way down to nine years old in our munchkin. And uh, they have been working so incredibly hard to bring this story to life. And it's really fun to see them, you know, take these characters and embrace them and really, really embrace the story that we're telling and um, understanding that the message is so important, especially today. It's so important. Um, and uh, it, it's just really exciting. And one of the fun things about it is that uh, many of the, the cast members, you know, are younger cast members, and they, they didn't really grow up with the movie the way we did. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's been really neat to, uh, to introduce them to the story and to talk about The Wizard of Oz and talk about its origins and, you know, why L. Frank Baum felt compelled to write the story. And so it's been really neat to introduce them to that, okay. that idea and then... James, yes. hold that thought. We got another caller. Oh, yes. Yes, yes I know. it. It's exciting, isn't it? Brandon, oh, whom do we have? We have Carmen. Hi. Hi, Carmen. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm so excited I got through. Yay. Yay. And, and Carmen, it's, it's your lucky moment because we are talking to James, the director of of The Wizard of Oz, and if you'd like to say hello or something about it, go right ahead and do so. Oh, my goodness, I'm so excited. Hello, you don't even know how much I love The Wizard of Oz. I have oh, Carmen, ornaments. Hey. <laughs> oh, really? How exciting is that? Oh, you're going to love the show. You're going to love it. 
Oh my goodness, I just can't even imagine. I, I, I was dying to know who's singing. Who's singing? Oh, the, in the show? Yeah, who's, the, who's going to be Dorothy? Oh, we have the most beautiful young lady playing Dorothy. Her name is Megan Ramirez, and she is such an incredible talent, and you're going to see hints of Judy Garland, and you're going to hear a voice that's heavenly, and you're going to see her bring the character to life in her own way as well. It's very exciting. That is beautiful. I've never seen this on stage. So oh, this well, is everything so you love. Thrilling. Everything you love from the movie is going to be there. Everything from the ruby slippers to the witch melting to flying monkeys. Oh, it's, it's Get it. You're going to love it. You're going to love every Oz, minute. Oz, Oz is going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Car- Carmen, you're getting so excited. It sounds like your birthday and, and Christmas and the Easter Bunny and the Fourth of July <laughs> all rolled into one. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you're a little girl and you've seen the original, I, I tell you, you know, it has an impact for your entire life, and I'm just so thrilled and excited. I cannot wait. And I, I'm so I, happy I was one of the people to get through. I don't even believe this right now. You know, I couldn't agree more, Carmen, and you're absolutely right. The, the story and the characters, they do become part of your life, and you relate to them in so many ways. And, and you're right. They, you know, they're in the back of your mind all the time. And you watch television and you listen to music and you hear references constantly. Mm-hmm. You do. It's such a part of so many people's lives. Absolutely. Well, I do know that a theater performance, to me, is extremely magical. There's a little different element compared to the TV that brings it to, it literally brings it to life in front of your eyes. And and so I'm just really tickled that I'm getting this opportunity. And I'm so grateful and so happy you guys are showing this. I hope lots of people come. This is going to be great. I'm so happy that you got this. And, Carmen, I would love to meet you. Um, at, at the show on Saturday, um, I, I'll be you know, at the back of the theater rooting on my, my cast and my crew, and uh, I would love for you to come up and say hi. I absolutely will. Thank you for bringing this all. This is such an exciting thing for the Inland Empire. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Thank you. Hey, Carmen, could you get any more excited? <laughs> <laughs> Well, Carmen. Yes, now, Carmen, I got to tell you, uh, when you are coming to get your tickets, we're at the Carousel Mall in San Bernardino. The address is 254, and we're right across the street from the California Theater of Performing Arts. When you come in, you talk to our board up, Brandon. Or if um, Big Joe is here, who's over here at the time, you have to show him identification, who you are, and then you get your tickets, and then all you have to do is walk across the street, bada bing, bada boom, there you are. Are you kidding me? I will do that. If you told me I had to go climb Mount Rubido, I'd go climb Mount Rubido. (laughs) (laughs) The way you are, I think you would. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you so much. You're welcome. Nice and, you know, you. <laughs> I would love to you know, share with the audience as well, if you've never been to the California Theater of Performing Arts, um, you are in for a treat if you come to see The Wizard of Oz this weekend because it is a gorgeous space. Um, and, it, you know, it's very much Art Deco. It very much screams old Hollywood. And um, the movie did previews here in this very same theater before it opened officially. Mm-hmm. And this is the lobby where they considered cutting Somewhere Over the Rainbow from the film. And thank goodness oh they didn't. My. But how uh, exciting is that? Yeah, and oh. well, like James and I, when we were talking this morning on the phone, if that song wasn't in that musical, it wouldn't be the same. You know, that song oh, yeah. really made that musical with all the other fantastic songs that they have. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's just incredible. I can't wait to hear the music. You don't seem to understand. It's the music for me. <laughs> well, and a full live orchestra playing it. Yes. Well, Carmen, on that note, we're going to say goodbye. Thank okay. you, and you enjoy yourself on this weekend. I, I can't wait. I'm even going to see a live orchestra. Come on already. <laughs> this is great. Thank yep. you. You're welcome. 
Okay, bye, everybody. Okay, bye. Boy, she was excited, huh, James? Isn't that cool? Isn't it wonderful what the Wizard of Oz does for people? It does. It does. Uh, I'm, I'm so excited. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about with all the characters and so on and so on and, and the live music and everything else, I don't know if you can answer this or not. If you can't, that's all right. When you start picking out and you have the tryouts and you get uh -huh. everybody lined up and you get the wardrobe and so on and so on all lined up, Somewhere in the middle, do you listen and do you see and you're going, you know what, I should have put that over there or that over there. Does that happen a lot or does it run straight through with no hiccups? No, there are hiccup after hiccup after hiccup. That, that's part of the joy of, of doing live theater is that it's constant problem solving and it's, it's almost like doing puzzles constantly, putting things together, figuring things out. It doesn't work one way, you try it another way. And that happens with uh, the staging, you know, with the costumes, with mm -hmm. the sets, with the lights. It also happens with the acting. You know, you, the actors try something and make a choice. And then collectively, collectively we say, you know, did that work? Is that really what the character's trying to say? Is that the message we're trying to convey? Let's try it this way. Let's, um, let's you know, we, we always say with the performance, let's explore our options. And so uh, we do. And, and that's part of the fun of the rehearsal process is watching uh, people make choices and then realizing if they're good choices or they're the wrong choice for that moment. We have a wonderful um, young man playing the Cowardly Lion. His name is Winston Peacock. Mm -hmm. And he is hysterical in the rehearsal process because he will try anything to uh, really uphold the integrity of that part and to, um, you know, uh, kind of bring the essence of Burt Lahr to its performance. And it, we are constantly rolling, constantly, um, with laughter just because of the joy that he brings to the process. And, you know, that's part of what we do. You know, as performers, um, you experiment and you bring yourself to the role and you bring your, your knowledge to the role and your path and, and you make those choices. And, you know, it, once you fine-tune it, you, you get a product that you're proud of. And th that's where we're at right now. We... We open, you know, the day after tomorrow, and mm -hmm. we are at the point where we're performing on this stage. And as a director, I'm sitting there, and I'm just so in love with what I'm seeing. And I feel like we're, we're really doing justice to this, this story that we all hold so dear to our hearts. Well, on that happy note, i got to tell you, the phones are flashing here. And, Brandon, whom do we have? We have Becky on the line. Hi, Becky. Welcome to the program. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. And I take it that, uh, did you call to make a dinner reservation, or did you call for the free tickets? The free tickets. Oh, okay. So no dinner reservation. Okay, Brandon, don't put it down for dinner reservations, just the, t just the tickets. Got it. <laughs> okay. And uh, so what do you like about The uh, Wizard of Oz? I actually have loved it since I was a uh, little girl, and my, I have a huge poster in my living room. Really? Um, yes, my Whoa. dad got it for my daughter when she was born, and it has moved with me. That's the first thing I grab every time I go. That is so cool. Yeah. And we are talking to James, the director. Would you like to say hello to him? Hi. Hi, Becky. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. And... Okay, I, I guess uh, she doesn't want to say anymore. So, <laughs> Becky, uh, congratulations. And like I was telling the other callers, uh, when we get off the phone, Brandon will take all your info. And to pick up the tickets, all you have to do is come to our station, our radio station, which is 254 Carousel Mall. It's right across the street from the theater. And you talk to Brandon, our board up, or Big Joey, whichever is on the board at that time. Show him identification, you get your tickets, and you're on the way to see The Wizard of Oz. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, and James, would you like to say anything? I just want to say uh, congratulations, and I can't wait to see you on Saturday. Stop by and say hi. Oh, no problem. Thank you so much. I look forward to it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. And uh, James, you know what we forgot to do? Mm -hmm. We got so excited talking about Dorothy and everybody. We forgot to tell him the time. 
Oh, my goodness. It's at 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock. There's a 2 o'clock show and an 8 o'clock show on Judy Garland's birthday. Right, and then what um, what we have here is the tickets that we are giving away is for the 8 o'clock performance. Excellent. The 8 o'clock performance. And uh, the one thing that we all ask, just like if you were going into a, another theater for a movie or whatever, we're asking people nicely, please don't bring potato chips and stuff and go crunchy, crunchy with the bags. That, oh, absolutely. That doesn't work too good, okay? And, uh, uh, James, we got one more caller. Oh, yay. yes. Okay, Brandon's on the phone with him now. And uh, so this is getting very exciting. Uh, James, this is Rich. While we're waiting, I've been sitting here quietly listening to all this. But I thought if I was ever in that movie or part of that, I'd want to be the wizard. <laughs> Why? Oh, because then I can perform all kinds of magic stuff and miracles and then make things happen. Oh, you can oh, make... Yeah. People have all of that already in their bodies. Well, Some of them just don't know it. I could fulfill my own best wish when I look out of my backyard. Get rid of the weeds. Oh, just go <laughs> abracadabra? <laughs> okay. And, um, Brandon, whom do we have? We don't. No? Oh, person... I uh, was uh, just uh, finishing up my conversation with Becky. Oh, Okay. Well, anyways, I'm looking at the clock, James, and this is so exciting, but I hate to say this, Dorlin. What is the one big thing you would love everybody to know? One big thing that I would love everybody to know, um, that theater is alive and doing well in San Bernardino, and we're very proud and happy to be a part of it, and we're so excited to have people come and see the story that we put together for them. And I hope they do. And even for the children, when they go to the matinee, the excitement. Sometimes, don't you wish we could just be a little invisible and just float around and watch everybody's reactions? Oh, absolutely. I can't wait to see how many little Dorothys we have come through this door on Saturday afternoon. Yeah, then um, when I see you on, uh, uh, in the evening, you've got to tell me how many little ones came through. I'm so excited about this. Absolutely. Well, James, thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing everybody to the California Theater of Performing Arts and for, with this lovely, lovely musical. And happy birthday again to Judy Garland. M imagine being 95 years old. I know. You know, I wonder what, if she was still with us, what she'd be thinking right now, seeing other people doing this musical. Oh, I'm sure she would be thrilled. Wouldn't she, though? All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, and we will see everybody this weekend at the Historical California Theater of Performing Arts right here in San Bernardino. And, James, thank you for all of your time. Thank you, and we'll see you in Oz. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Wasn't -bye. that exciting? That all, was something else. All these people are so exciting, and, and to see, and on her birthday, that they planned it just like they did. I think the people that called in are excited for everybody else that's going to be there. Yes, yes. There's enough excitement. And when I went to uh, pick up the tickets today, uh, the matinee is almost sold out. Is it really? Yes, yes. So that's amazing. And talking about amazing, you know what else we've got to talk about? What are we going to talk about? Yes, because we have uh, the timing uh, is working out quite lovely. We've got to talk about Father's Day. Father's Day? Yeah, you know, it's coming up here pretty darn quick. It is? Yes, it is. And so I did some snooping around because I love to snoop on people. Oh, boy. Yes, and you want to do something incredibly different for your dad? Or your mom, that's a dad, because there's a lot of moms that are dads and a lot of dads that are moms. There you right? go. And uh, if you want to go and find something, that unique item. Unique? Unique. It doesn't, no, you're not going to sneak up on them. It's a unique. It's a different. <laughs> We're going to talk about that rabbit again. Yes, <laughs> that, that little, little rabbit. Why don't you go over to Big Five Sporting Goods in Redlands? They're on 1575 West Redlands Boulevard in Redlands. Their phone number is 335-5950. And go in there and just cruise around, get excited, see all the fantastic gear that they have. Everything from golf balls, an 
I didn't see an orangutan though. I you know I did not see that. I don't orangutan. think we need an orangutan. Yeah, but it'd be kind of fun to buy a orangutan and put a saddle on it and ride it. You know. That to, reminds me of the movie Any Which Way But Loose. Yeah, the orangutan. And yes. uh, baseball bats, golf clubs, you name it. Shoes. Those shoes are absolutely incredible. They are famous for their shoe uh, their shoe wear. You know, and so pop in and enjoy and find that one unique gift for your dad. All right. Then after that, then on Sunday, after he got his new outfit on, he got his new baseball bat or golf club, whatever he got. And then on Sunday, how about taking him over to the 66ers ballpark? Why? Why? Because they have a home game. They do. Yes, they are going to be home. And the game starts at 2.09. And after the game is all over with, they are allowing, and this has only happened twice in their whole history. Okay? This I'm, is I'm a, listening. This is the second time. Drum roll. Brum, bum, bum, bum. After the game, all the dads can take their grads, their children that are graduating, and their children out on the field, and they can play catch. Really? Yes. This is on Sunday? On Sunday. Okay. Yes, the 18th on Daddy's Day. And they have a, two lovely snack bars here for your hot dogs, your hamburgers, and, you know, your soda pop and, and all of this good stuff. Hot dogs at the ballpark. Yeah, nothing like it, right? Oh, take me out to, to the, the ball, ball game. game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jugs. I don't care if I ever get back. Well, now that you're singing, <laughs> I got a better one for you. Who's on first? <laughs> second. No, no second on first. No, what's on third's second? On second. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Try to go so, through that one. Anyways, once. that's you know two really unique things that you can do for your dad or your mom that's your dad, because I was mom and dad for a number number of years and it was pretty cool. I got different gifts on on different days. So oh, I that's why you want to do that. Yeah, so it was really fun. But if you want the best deal in town, you want to find some goodies, Take go to Big Five Sporting Goods in Redlands and uh, find that unique item. And then on Sunday, take them to the ballpark and let them see. And they're playing the M.O.D.s. The M.O.D.s? The M.O.D.s. When you go to the ballpark and you're going to get a list like this, and it has the scheduling on the outside, and they got a picture of the setup, this and that. And instead of writing out the whole names, they do the initials. I see. Don't ask me what the initial is. Uh, I think Minnesota is M. I don't know. Uh, I'm not don't sure. Know either. But, uh, you know, that would be a lot of fun to do. And so your whole weekend is planned. First Saturday, you go to see The Wizard of Oz at the Historical California Theater of Performing Arts right here in San Bernardino. The matinee at 2 p.m. or in the evening at 8 p.m. And also on Saturday, go to Big Five Sporting Goods, buy the gift for your dad or your grandpa or your uncle or your mommy or whomever. Then on Sunday, go to the 66ers to see the ball game. What could be a better weekend than that? You know what I like about that ballpark? What? That the way the seats face in the afternoon as the sun goes down, you get shade. Yes. You're looking away from the sun. Mm -hmm. That doesn't always happen. No, it doesn't. But that ballpark was designed just right facing back toward the east, so mm -hmm. the sun's behind you. So that makes it cooler, and it's easier on the eyes and everything else. I, I, I like that. Yes, and there's one more quick announcement I want to re we do. You do quick announcements? Yes, I do. As quick as 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 quick as I can. <laughs> Some are not as quick, but I try to do it. Uh -huh. Also, uh, let's have another big congratulations to Trevor and his team at Trevor's Rustic Inn right here in San Bernardino on Kendall Drive. This weekend is they're celebrating the fifteenth year of being in business. I like this food. The steaks. Oh, the steaks. Holy Toledo. Uh, the prime rib, too. See, I don't like prime rib. I never liked prime uh, rib. I love prime rib. But the prices are right. The food is good. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice place. The crowd is people of all ages. Mm -hmm. And it's a safe place to be. Parking is good. Sometimes it gets a little full, but you can park right across the street. Yeah. And so it, it's a nice setup. And you know what's nice about it? It's... A hometown place, everybody knows everybody. Yes. And it's very relaxed. You could walk in there with a pair of flip-flops and jeans and a T-shirt. 
or you could dress uh, d the statement I started even Jesse J is using it now casual cash casual cash yes well and you, uh, remember just for those people who want to know if you want to sing the karaoke is on Tuesday Wednesday and Friday yes it starts about eight o'clock between eight and nine depending on when somebody comes in and you can have a good time everybody loves everything from the 40s till today yeah and go down there and have some fun you can play shuffleboard they have the pool tables you can watch all the uh sporting games out there you know and when the music is going good you can even dance yes you know and it's a friendly place it is and it's a, a historical place very historical been there forever that building has started i've done my homework that building has been standing for 50 years I thought it was more than that. As far as I know, it's 50 years. I'll double check and I'll let you guys she go. She did her homework again. And I would like to thank uh, everyone that was on the program today. Goes from the Red Rooster in Redlands. James, the director of the Wizard of Oz that will be at the California Theater of Performing Arts this weekend. Brandon, thank you for another good show being my board up. I couldn't do it without you, kiddo. Thank you. You're welcome. And everybody that won tickets, enjoy. Rich, talk to you later. And talk to me uh, later. Dr. Bombay and the Blue Machine Band is going to be dancing us out. See you next week, same time, same station. Ciao, everybody. Bye-bye. First time that I saw you, you had sparkles in your eyes. It was unbelievable how you had me hypnotized I knew from that moment you were the one for me Thank God above, you know you're setting me free I'm living in paradise, yeah KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM, and now 102.3 FM. NBC News Radio, I'm Lisa Carter. President Trump's personal attorney is disputing key parts of the testimony provided by former FBI Director James Comey on Capitol Hill today. Attorney Mark Kasowitz says the president never pressured Comey to drop an investigation into fired National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. The president never, in form or substance, directed or suggested that Mr. Comey stop investigating anyone, including the president never suggested that Mr. Comey, quote, let Flynn go, close quote. Also said Trump never asked for Comey's loyalty. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee says Comey's testimony is nowhere near the end of the Russia investigation. We're more confident today that we can, through this process, work through a very bipartisan and thorough investigation that at the end of it answers many of the questions that the American people might have today. North Carolina Republican Richard Burr saying he hopes to get with special counsel Robert Mueller soon to coordinate the overall investigation of Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election. During today's hearing, Comey testified there was no doubt the Russians meddled in the election. The woman accused of leaking classified NSA documents about Russian meddling is expected to plead not guilty. Reality winner expected to appear in court in Georgia today for a bond hearing. The 25-year-old federal contractor is accused of taking government documents and giving them to the media. Bill Cosby's sexual assault trial could go to the jury as early as next week. After hearing from witnesses yesterday, the presiding judge said the case is moving much faster than expected. The trial is now in its fourth day in suburban Philadelphia. The 79-year-old comedian is accused of drugging and sexually assaulting a former Temple University employee. You're listening to the latest from NBC News Radio. This report has been...